ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕೆ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರಿಯೋಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ರಾಮಾನುಜದಯಾಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯಂ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ನೀಳಾತುಂಗಸ್ತನಗರಿ ಶುದ್ಧಮದ್ಭೋತ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾರಾರ್ಥ್ಯ ಸ್ವಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸತಶಿರಶ್ರದ್ಧಮಧ್ಯಾಪಯಂತೆ ಶೋಚಿಷ್ಟಾಂ ಸಜನಿಗಳಿದ ಯಾಬಲಾಕೃತ್ಯ ಪುಂಕ್ತೆ ಗೋದಾ ತೇ ನಮೈದ ಭೂಯ ಏ ವಾಸ್ತು ಭೂಯ ಟುಡೆ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ವರ್ಷ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಯಶೋಟರಿಕ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ದ ಚಿತ್ರನ್ ಜಿರಗಾಲೆ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಇನ್ ಭಗವತ್ ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಇನ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೊ ಆಂಡಾಳ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾರ್ ಮೇಡ್ಸ್ try to wake up one of her friends who had a sweet voice like that of a parrot in the previous verse andal sang about the pirumal who adorned the shank and the chakra having heard of this the girl contemplating upon kannan and extolling his glories went into a trance so having heard of their friends devotional lines andal and her group came about to waken awaken her they say elle ilankliye o sweet parrot having been separated from kannan we have lost our sleep and have come to take you along with the fond hope of being able to reach him again so it's like a conversation hello are you even fast asleep even now the girl says don't be harsh don't be harsh on me in calling me o oh, girls of high higher strand just now i am coming so chillan dalayin me nangai meer coming the group says you can talk very well we know it we know you are skilled in talking the girl says inside you are all strong you are equally strong if not more in in giving back in words so let me be the one at fault my apologies to you for my harshness the group says come quickly and join us with whom else are you so engaged being separated from us inside the girl says ellarum pondaro have everybody come as everyone come the girl said yes they have come come and count yourself vandi n equal we would like to hear you sing in praise of our kannan who who killed that kuvalaya pitam elephant and who fought with the chanura mushtikan so this prabandham is so beautifully talked about saying about the bhagavata bhagavatas how one should behave with bhagavatas there are 10 distinguishing codes of conduct for our interaction with bhagavatotamas as instructed by andal in this pasuram elle ilankiliye the implied sense is that the speech of the devotee a bhagavata is most welcome and to be cherished innam urangudiyo it is wrong to indulge in other things other vishayams worldly desires vishaya sukhams sensual pursuits when the company of bhagavatas is available it is only for bhagavat chintanam bhagavat glories with the association of bhagavatas chill and rally in me do do not speak harshly not a single harsh word should be used in conversation with bhagavatas nangai meer podari hindre bhagavata should be addressed most respectfully with utter sincere humility nangai meer podari hindre we should say deval devarir swami so vallai un katturegal even the chastisement by bhagavata which will always be constructive even the feedback 
it may sound negative but it is for us to improve for us to improve they have said should be accepted gracefully valleergal neengale naane thanaayuduga warning others mistakes as our own is the hallmark is the lakshana is the identification of a true sri vaishnava because we you know very well bharata holds himself responsible for rama's banishment to the forest so rama's exile to the forest bharata holds him accountable not mantra or kaikeyi or dasharatha anyone nane tanayuduga that's the ultimate line which one should remember as a true sri vaishnava let me be at fault even if we are not at fault vallaini podai separation from the bhagavatas even for a second is unbearable unakkenna verudaye the path laid down by purvacharyas need to be followed you why you are alone having your own path follow us the purvacharyas have laid out not what is dictated by our own mind ellarum pondaro pondar pond ennikkol seeing a group of bhagavatas and being part of that group is the most desired sought after one for us in this life the enjoyment is never complete if even in if one bhagavata is missing there there darshana saubhagyam their glance and adorning the dust from their feet are all important to change one's purpose in this life and acquire lasting saubhagyam sarva mangalams for us vallane kondrane matrane matrika vallane mayane paadu singing the lord's kalyana gunams his viryam his shauryam his victory his other kalyana gunas are important for a sri vaishnava as a means of pleasing other bhagavatas and it results in the bhagavat bhagavata dasyam kaikaryam which is the which is the ultimate limit of bhagavat kaikaryam so thus ilam kiliye perikaranai swami mentions the meaning the inner meaning ilam kiliye wo chetanams wo jeevatmas who are locked up in the cage of samsaram and thus unable to spread your wings and have sancharam to perform bhagavans the to the for the pleasure of bhagavans mukollasa kaikaryam bhagavat kaikaryam innam murangudiyo wo jeevatmas who have taken so many births who have been but born born again and again have not succeeded in acquiring jnanam also about tatvahita purushartham from a sadacharyan still you are sleeping yelle what a wonder even now you can get up and join the bhagavata goshti observing the sharanagati vratam nangaimir as the ones who are enjoying the purna sukham as true bhagavatas who are waiting outside for you to join chillen ralayin please do not address this aparadi in an unbearable asahya manner i am an apacharam pannavan podari podari hindren adiyen will wake up and engage in sat vishayams coming i am coming i will wake up and engage in bhagavad bhagavata kaikaryam and sat vishayam with acharya katakcham vallai un katturegal pande un vayaridum adiyen remembers well the stories about the saubari maharishi and rishi shankar heard from mahans vallirgal ningale all of you have shared the stories with adiyen nane ta naiduga adiyen stays forever enjoying vishaya sukams without any vairagyam vallaini podai o ilam kiliye please retain your vairagyam abandon the taste for vishaya sukams bhagavata se and abandon the anubhavam of even the jeevatma sakshatkaram the kaivalyam in favor of moksha sukham ellarum pondaro or all jeevatmas of our lord engaged in performing bhagavad bhagavata kaikaryam to has have come pondar vandache most of them knowing the futility and purposelessness of the chasing this worldly pursuits and vishaya sukams the sensual pursuits are engaged in bhagavad bhagavata acharya kaikaryam already please come out and see for yourself vallanai kondranai matranai matrika vallanai mayanai paade bhagavata outside say o ilam kiliye please sing of our lord who changes the enchanting maya inside us and he, he facilitates us to conquer this samsara sagaram 
in our favor please sing the perumai the glory of our lord who controls the our indriyam who controls our senses and the mind so that we would not lead astray we will not we will not go back to the wrong track he will reorient us to serve him and his bhagavatas such a beautiful manner and all summarizes this wonderful pasuram in fact this this great pasuram is a reflection of atma gunas swami desikan in rahasya trayasaram swanishta vijnana adhikaram he mentions about this atma gunas the reflection of atma gunas is so so nice that one should contemplate these always especially on this inculcation of atma gunas with this pasuram in fact this pasuram always reminds me of the the swanishta vijnana adhikara chapter in fact even the even the 13th chapter 8th shloka of bhagavad gita talks about this kalyana guna the gunas that we need to inculcate amanitvam adambitvam ahimsa shantihi arjavam acharya upasanam saucham sthairyam atma vinigraha very simple shlokam amanitvam vidya garvam dana garvam kula garvam i i am so much educated i have done doctorate i belong to this kulam i am i have this much wealth all this as mani amani is the one who does not have these prides look at our kuratalman kulacherikke kalvicherikke selvacherikke mukkurumbai alithavar adambitvam no dambam no blowing of one's own trumpet ahimsa not only in action also by speech by thought we need to avoid hurting others not just others human being beings chantihi patience at any point of time one should avoid anger anger is a letter short of danger arjavam manas vak kaya body mind speech should be same working in unison working in tandem acharya upasana praising one's acharyan at all times saucham parishuddhi one has to perform necessarily the nitya karmas like sandhya vandanam trikala sandhya vandanam otherwise we are considered anachara avoid as much as possible parannam not that we disrespect but that it may contaminate our already contaminated mind sthairyam being steady being firm that essential sthairyam can be inculcated by reciting alavanda stotra ratnam all our doubts can be cleared and being at acharyan trivedi whatever acharyan says is truth close your ears for other things alavanda radiyom padiyom ini alvadakke atma vinigraha other than the knowledge of actual swarupam of jeevatma which is being dasa bhutan eternal servant of permal divya dampati any other jnana longing for any other shall be curtailed please forgive me for if if it sounds preaching it's more as a reminder for adiye dhanyoshmi andal trividigale sharanam